Good day. Welcome back to Amy and Larry's Kitchen. Today we took a poll this morning as far as what we wanted to eat for supper tonight and we decided on chicken and dumplings. Now I'm going to be honest with you, I'm not the best at making dumplings, but I love the way they taste. So, in the interest of saving time, I have already boiled one large chicken breast and uh, in a pot I put half of a medium sized onion in there with it. I covered the chicken breast with just enough water to uh, allow it to boil and I probably boiled it for about 20 minutes. Once uh, I did that I took it out onto the cutting board that you see here and I sliced it up into small pieces and put it back into the, the broth that uh, was formed from boiling the chicken now I'm not done with my broth I'm going to add a couple more things to it when we start to cook the dumplings but right now I'm going to show you how I make my dumplings but believe me I am no professional chef you may make yours totally different you might even use canned biscuits which I have done before in the past and they've worked out just fine but we like a lot of dumplings in our chicken and dumplings so what you are seeing here right now is probably only about half of what we're going to make tonight because we love the taste of the dumplings in order to make sure that we have enough chicken flavoring when I get ready to cook the dumplings I'm going to be adding some additional chicken broth and also a can of cream of chicken condensed soup to it and that way when I put the dumplings in there it'll soak up all that chicken flavor and make it all that much better now what I have done is I've put two cups of flour in a bowl already and to that I'm going to add about a half a tablespoon of baking powder I'm going to put about three quarters, or excuse me, about a half a cup of oil. And about three quarters of a cup of milk to the flour mixture. And you don't have to be specific on these uh, amounts. You can add as much or as little as you want to. And I think it calls for a half a teaspoon of uh, salt, so no reason to have to measure that. I'll just sprinkle a little bit in there. And stir this up. Mix it all up together. It's basically the same thing as making biscuits. If I wanted to form these into uh, biscuits and throw them in the oven or the shape of biscuits, it would pretty much turn out to be the same way. So The good thing about this is I can make as much or as little as I want to. And like I said earlier, we love dumplings. I remember... Like a, uh, my mom being from Alabama, she had an, an aunt, I guess you would call her. That's what I always called her, was an aunt. Aunt Nett was her name, as a matter of fact. And that was her specialty, making chicken and dumplings. She was known for that. And every time that we would go up to see them near Dothan, Alabama, she would always make a huge pot of chicken and dumplings. There were six of us in our family, and I think three in hers, so there was like nine people at the table. 
that she would be feeding. And I was so little at the time, I didn't pay much attention to how she made it. But I don't think I've ever found anybody that made chicken and dumplings any better than she did. Now I'm going to take my dough that I just made and I'm going to put it on a floured cutting board. Just kind of knead it a little bit or roll it over, whatever you want to call it. Mix it with the flour that's on the board so that it's not sticky. And then can you grab that rolling pin, Shug? My wife here is doing the filming, and she's also my assistant. And what we're going to do is, I'm going to move this bowl here out of the way right now. We're going to take this dough, and you can do it by hand if you want to, but we put a little bit of flour on it. Then we're going to spread this mixture out. I wish I had a bigger cutting board to be honest with you because they say the ideal thickness for this for the dumplings is one eighth of an inch. And I, I tell you what I can do. In fact that's what I probably will do. Let's 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 try something here. Like I say we're filming this live so there's uh, you never know what's going to happen, but I'm going to take this and cut it in half for right now, just like that, and I'm going to lay this a little bit over in the bowl, and then that way I can take what we have left and spread, spread it out even more. A thin dumpling on the board, once it gets in the pot, will thicken up and it'll give it a chance to absorb all the chicken flavors and cook through and through. It won't take near as long. Alright, now what I have done there, we're going to pretend that this is all the chicken and dumplings or the dumplings that we're going to make. I'm going to next grab a pizza cutter Here we go. And the easy way to do this, and they don't have to be pretty because you're going to be eating them anyway, is just take this and start treating it like a piece of pizza. Just cut it uh, this way. It's so easy to do. make little chunks there we go now I'm gonna set this aside just for a, a minute and I'm gonna bring my pot back that's so got the chicken in it Put it back on the eye, and I'm going to start heating this uh, mixture back up, because what I'm going to do next, I like my chicken and dumplings rich and flavorful. I'm going to stick a whole pat of butter, or stick of butter, right in there to help add to the flavor. I've got some chicken broth that I'm going to pour in there which will give me a good bit of liquid but that's good because I want plenty of liquid for all of the dumplings that I'm going to be fixing to uh, cook in I 
I think this is the equivalent of about two cups, I'm not sure. But, uh, and then, last but not least, I've got that can of uh, cream of chicken condensed soup that I had mentioned in the beginning of the show that I'm going to spoon in also. Now remember I've got chicken broth that was made from boiling the breast. I've got additional chicken broth that I came from the store. I got a whole stick of butter. And now I have a whole can of cream of chicken. So you can just imagine how flavorful those dumplings are going to be along with the chicken that is um, already in there. I'm going to stir this up. It'll take a few minutes for it to get warm or hot. In the meantime, if you don't have chicken broth, you know what you can do, and this is what I have done in the past. Everybody's got their own little secrets or their own little tricks. You can take milk, just pour milk in your uh, existing broth that you made by boiling your chicken and it works just as fine but I tell you with what we've got here I can guarantee you that this is going to be mouth watering and then all I do after that is I just take these and drop them in there one at a time I don't worry about stirring them or, or anything they're going to float to the top at first but remember I've got plenty of liquid so they'll be able to as I add more and more to them they'll be able to uh, pile up on top of each other with plenty of room down below so that you're not crowding them any at all so let me get these in there and then in a little bit we will stop the video for a few minutes I'm actually going to make another batch of dumplings just like you saw here or uh, use the other part of the dumpling that I've already made and just haven't cut yet and uh, put that in the pot and then once they're cooked I will or we will come back on and show you the final result and uh, if any of you once again uh, cook yours differently which I'm sure some of you do please let us know how you do it because I am always open to new suggestions on how to uh, prepare something some of them I may like some of them we may not but you don't know until you hear about them and try them so I do like with the dumplings I like a lot of pepper so I'm gonna coat these with pepper and it's gonna look like a lot but remember there's a lot of juice and stuff in this pot and I've got more dumplings to go so give us a few minutes we're going to make more dumplings and add it to this mix. We're going to uh, cook these probably for a good 20 minutes. And then we'll come back and we'll show you what it looks like when we're done. 